VOM Business Network. So much for one broadcast. Hello there, a very beautiful day to you and thank you for joining us. You're watching the EOM Business Network, indeed, the voice of corporate Nigeria. I am Ulurugo Elkana Moar. Today on the program, we shall be taking a look at the Nigerian economy from the viewpoint of industry operators. And so well, let's talk. Our focus is on Lucia Travels Limited and Grand Bay Travels and Tours Limited. On Spot On, we shall bring you a young and amiable professional, versatile travels and tours project management expert, vision-driven entrepreneur strategist, team player and industry captain, Bright Oyekachi, who is the founder, managing director and chief executive officer of Adventura Leisure Limited, a notable travels and tours service solutions provider in Nigeria and one of the most distinguished CEOs to look out for in 2025. And on the face-to-face -face is an excellent gentleman, symbol of integrity, Federal University of Technology, a very graduate of Maritime Management Technology, Maritime Logistics Management Expert, Justice of Peace, Serial Entrepreneur, Project Management Strategist, Philanthropist, Team Player, and Industry Captain. Peter Dostan Akalado, JP, who is the Founder, Group Managing Director, and Chief Executive Officer of Fort Atlantic Maritime Services Limited a world-class full service maritime logistics services solutions provider in Nigeria and indeed one of the most distinguished CEOs to look out for in 2025. This is a must watch. Stay with us. Johnson Edache Ocheke, an excellent gentleman, graduate of law enforcement and criminal justice, logistics solutions management expert, experienced entrepreneur, project management strategist and industry captain, is the founder, managing director, and chief executive officer of John Dash Global Logistics Limited, a notable world class integrated business solutions provider in Nigeria, and one of the most distinguished CEOs to look out for in 2024 2025. Police station, I think that was probably one general and some other people from my village were able to erect a police station in my village. I contributed a lot. A billion, even my churches. Churches, there's no year on the this thing. And as a matter of fact, I have I have more than 15 widows on my payroll monthly basis in my village that are on my payrolls. I joined the industry in 2013 with Trimes. We go with them. Like some of these child um, medications. We are not tasked. I was the one handling so many pharmaceutical companies for them. We are not, so it makes the drug cheaper and people move more. People buy more. Then uh, security again for movement of uh, yield stand. Movement some of these road movement because there's a truck load of things. Some people are hijacking them. Others are diverting them. I bought the car in the recent time. Discouraging makes the prices um, a lot of people could not afford delivery again. Not only export, even within, because you have to move things from local airports here. From local, within the local, even with 250, 300, you can move to all airport cities. That is Park AG. Oh yeah! Gogi Africa, in partnership with the Federal Ministry of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy, proudly present the Gogi Africa Festival, celebrating 25 years of promoting culture and tourism. This is an event you don't want to miss. Join us on the 26th and 27th of October at the iconic Unicorn Stadium in Lagos for a spectacular showcase of music, fashion, food and dance from over 25 countries around the world, showcasing their heritage on one stage, proudly refreshed by... Gogi Africa Festival is a symphony of cultures. For more information on participating, WhatsApp 0818600 or email info at gogeafrica.tv. Gogi Africa, celebrating 25 years of consistency. Messi Chibuko, a young, energetic, vision driven entrepreneur, travels and tour services management expert, team player, and industry captain is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Grand Bay Travels and Tours Limited, a fast-growing travels and tours solutions provider in Nigeria and one of the most distinguished CEOs to look out for in 2025. 
to be successful in a business environment, I'll just keep it short. Uh, consistency, hard work. Grand Beach Travels and Tours is a reputable travel company which was established in 2017 and officially registered in 2018. Uh, we started out in a hotel lobby and so far we are here today, three branches. Here in Festival Hotel, 24 Karat Hotel and Ojo Alaban. In our years of existence and services, we built or establish a strong network of trusted partners and suppliers to ensure seamless travel. Like the name implies, Grand View Travels and Tours will sell flight tickets, hotel reservation, travel insurance. We also curate our tour packages and group travels. Our vision here at Grand View Travels and Tours is to become a leading travel company, renowned for our exceptional services, and equally become a household name here in Lagos, Nigeria, and Africa as well. And our mission, our mission is to render top-notch services while ensuring warmth and friendliness towards our customers. In terms of what we've achieved so far, we'll give ourselves a pat on the back. This is six years in business and we are going strong. We'll keep pushing. Despite the challenges of business, we can only say thank you to our customers because they are keeping us in business. So that's why we are still running. Every business has an angry customer. So, but we at Grand Bay Travels and Tours here, yeah, we listen to our customers. We get to know them, we meet them halfway. And so with that, we can beat our chairs and say, 90%, all our customers are satisfied. So we can only ask the government to help with some policies to help the Nair against strength against the dollar, and also increase exports and so many other things. There's a lot to be done. In the next few years, uh, Grand Bay Travels and Tours, we are expected and we hope we will go international, not just covering Nigeria or Lagos, we hope to go into Africa as well. Mm -hmm. To still say a very big thank you to our customers because if there is no customer to attend, I don't think there will be Grand Bay Travels and Tours. So, you see, thank you to our customers. They keep us going. Nigerian youth, I always advise, like I always say, it takes time, hard work, and consistency. So, if you keep pushing, you'll get there. Uh, here in Grand Bay Travels and Tours, we pride ourselves in our integrity and I can always tell you that we always keep to our words and we don't disappoint. My name is Nessie Chibuko. I was born and brought up here in Lagos. I am a travel consultant and equally the CEO of Grand Bay Travels and Tours. So beyond being the CEO of Grand Bay Travels and Tours, I like to explore. I like to travel. And I was born and brought up here in Lagos. I schooled here in Lagos. Everything in Lagos here. So, uh, moving on to my hobbies. My hobbies are reading and sleeping. I am very passionate about my sleep. <laughs>
um that's our main um niche we book tickets we book hotel accommodation airport transfers travel insurance we even do dual citizenship however our main niche is holiday packages that's vacation packages and we're big on group um, tours so we we have group tours to different destinations honeymoon packages destination parties and much more our mission is to give our clients opportunity to have exciting memorable and comfortable trip and as well as affordable trips to any destination of their choice so far so good the lucha travel guests I would say they are the ones to answer when they when they listen to this interview they will tell you that we have given them exactly what i have just said we're giving them comfortable exciting uh, memorable and affordable trip in lucha travels our unique selling point is customer service we offer a very good customer service when our customers come they turn family we actually offer an end-to-end -end service from the day you leave the country to the day you come back to the country we are responsible for you and we want to make sure that you're comfortable we want to make sure that you're happy we want to make sure that everything is going fine till you come if you call us at 3 a.m we'll pick up the call and we we'll give to you whatever you want we do not joke with our customers they are our priority I would say um, so far so good. The travel and tour sector in Nigeria is picking up and I'm going to give it to this administration. The Minister of Tourism is doing so much in supporting um, different associations. For instance, I belong to an association called NANTA, National Association of Nigerian Travel Agents, and she's been supportive. Um, I think this present government is supportive in pushing tourism, you know. I think one thing that we need to do is we as people of nigeria we need to speak well about nigeria i remember one time in kenya i was in a hotel and i met a nigerian in that hotel i had spoken to the manager of the hotel how about how good nigeria is and how he needs to come and experience nigeria because for me nigeria is a good country nigeria is a blessed country and he was willing if to come with his wife and then this guy who is also a nigerian came and spoke all sort of ill things about nigerians just imagine how many people from outside international tourists who come into nigeria they are the ones who go out to say good things about nigerians why nigerians themselves they say negative things about us we need to push the narrative out there that nigeria is a beautiful country and that we need to attract foreign tourists to the country yes i know that we are doing the work already um, and I know that we're putting things in place, but we also need to revive our tourist destinations because we have beautiful tourist destinations. And so far, I would say this present administration is doing so well. Yes, they've not gotten there, but we're getting there. For the angry customers, the truth remains that Nigeria in itself has, you know, there's been so much challenges and a lot of times these people are not necessarily angry. It's just the situation. It's just the environment that has inflicted so much pains in them. And when you understand where they are coming from, you would only react to them knowing that, okay, all they need is somebody who is empathetic. Put yourself in their shoes. Bright Onyekachi, a young and amiable gentleman, versatile travels and tours project management expert, vision-driven entrepreneurial strategies, team player and industry captain, is the founder, managing director and chief executive officer of Adventura Leisure Limited, a notable travels and tours service solutions provider in Nigeria and one of the most distinguished CEOs to look out for in 2025. In a business environment like Nigeria, 
we know that Nigeria seems to be a very tough place. So anyone who is wanting to do business in Nigeria must be strong willed. Yes, you must be strong willed for you to be able to run a business in Nigeria. And you also have to do in all possible ways to gain the trust of Nigerians. Because you know Nigerians a lot have been scammed maybe in different businesses. But for you to be able to run a business in Nigeria, you have to show people that you can be trustworthy. Adventure Leisure Limited, we officially started uh, 2020. During those years, it has not been easy, right? Initially, we didn't have an office, so it was a challenge because when clients call and, okay, where can we see you? We can't tell them to come home. Yes, so it was a very big struggle. So we were able to get a, a shop, per se, where we can just uh, start up because we can't just stay at home. So we had to start up and uh, shop and at, at the long run, we were able to get a bigger space. So our services here, we issue flight tickets locally and internationally. We process uh, hotel reservations to any country in the world, not just Nigeria, but to any country in the world. We also provide uh, travel insurance for travelers going to any country. Also provide tour packages as well for vacation purposes and visa assistance. So th these are the major things we are doing in uh, Adventure Asia we have a very strong vision that has been, uh, been our guide, yes. So we have a vision of uh, being the widely recognized travel agency in Africa. And we are also trying to connect Africa together and trying to tell people or to show people the hidden gems in Africa, yes. And we also have our mission too, to be able to uh, provide a good customer service to travelers and also to expose them the need and importance of traveling because many persons don't really know the importance or the benefits of traveling. So we are encouraging them and also teaching them to the benefits of traveling. Honesty is one thing we hold on to dearly. So we are very honest in business and in the sense that whatever services we can't offer to you, we we'll tell you straight up that we can't offer this particular service and we we'll don't try to also tell you other places where you can do it too. Yes, so we build a strong honesty in our business too. And also customer service, which we also follow our clients through from the beginning of the travel to the end of the travel. Whatever questions they have, whatever information they need about the particular country, we we'll guide them through. So that is why they have us. So we are very unique in providing customer service. We, even if they call us by 2 a.m., we are going to respond to them because we have their best at heart. Over the years, the, the travel and tourism sector has made a very big change. Yes, it has, uh, especially the tourism in Nigeria, the local tourism in Nigeria, because uh, we some persons look at Nigeria as, okay, we really have anything but over the years the minister of, of tourism has let people know that we have hidden gems in nigeria the things you're looking for outside we also have similar things here in nigeria Peter Dostan Akalado, an excellent gentleman, symbol of integrity, Federal University of Technology Owere graduate of Maritime Management Technology, Maritime Logistics Management Expert, Justice of Peace, Serial Entrepreneur, Project Management Strategist, Philanthropist, Team Player and Industry Captain, is the Founder, Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Fort Atlantic Maritime Services Limited, a member of Vicky's Group a world-class diversified group of companies operating in different parts of Africa and indeed one of the most distinguished CEOs to look out for in 2025. 
Uh, fourth Atlantic Maritime Group, uh, where is a group of company uh, that covered West African sub-region, Nigeria, the head office, Togo, Ghana, Abidjan. So this sub-region of West African, Fourth Atlantic, have across their jobs in terms of maritime logistics. I will tell you that it's a respected and trustworthy logistics shipping companies in Nigeria and West African region. This company came to exist in 2013. 2009, I started with Blue Seas Maritime. I did my training with Dado Maritime Services. It's one of the indigenous companies, top. And after a few years, I joined Blue Seas Maritime as operations officer and grew to the level of other operation positions. Now I start thinking, before then I took a decision that I uh, will not work long in this industry without establishing my own company. I put it as a decision and I sign it, keep it and looking at it every day. Five years, I must take off. But then at the end of 2015, I resigned and fully joined Fort Atlantic maritime as the ceo now i face the fears you know always fear of unknown so i face it start struggling start moving going into some of the other jobs and start having nomination so since 2013 14 to date we start expanding to togo to portaco to ghana to abidjan and everything start working in our favor so I would say this company, Fort Atlantic Group, we are the top among the industry and we, the services we render, shipping agency, logistics, warehousing, crew change. That crew change means uh, those who work on board vessels. We always, you know, their time period, changing them. We provide them arrival visa. We provide them ticketing. We provide them other logistics to take them home and make exchange. That what we call crew change. Those crew changes, changing of the personnel on board vessels. So since then, we are into fully logistics. We are into fully shipping, clearing, and other logistics in the maritime industry. Our services, we call it cargo and port agencies. Protective agencies, crew change, oil and gas services, shipping agent services, general supply, naval gunboat. We provide gunboat for security, supply of STS equipment, those things that ship to ship. We call it fenders. We supply fresh water on board. We supply provisions. We provide other logistics as requested from the vessel. Sometimes on the net services, we deal on their visa, that is arrival visa, to make a crew change and order as requested. His commitment, fearless and focus. And uh, you know, they, they always fear or no, but I tell you that I didn't feel it. I take my decision and I left the company without what I expected. But today, this is where I am. So it's focused and I keep moving. We want to be among the best in sub-region of Africa. You know, we always work on time delivery. That's what makes Fortaline unique. We deliver as it is. So we are in the front of shipping agency, the, we call it indigenous shipping agency. So in West African region, in Lumi, we are among the best from the port, you must mention Fort Atlantic Maritime. In Nigeria today, we are doing great. In Ghana, we are doing it. So we are looking to be among the best. You know, when you want to be the best, there's something that will make you to be the best. The time delivering, time in shipping is on the line. Because of what? The demorage. If you keep a vessel for three days, it's ready. Any two, three hours delay is cost. So our client 
trust us and believe us. In terms of our clearing, we clear as it is, five days. In terms of any job they give, we have a periodic time and we meet up to avoid. You know, one of the problems the client don't want to overspend. You know, this is a profit job. So they don't want to overspend. So on that rate, all of our client time delivering is what is making us different. The economy is totally affecting the job. You cannot write the economy of a country off from the system of maritime logistics. Maritime logistics is a world connectivity. The job is not only Nigeria, it's a connectivity of job, which we trade on dollars, euro. So the present economy of this country, Nigeria, is totally affecting the logistics maritime. Totally affecting them. If you, you can count to the vessels, you can count the operation. So many companies have closed. I, I tell you, if basically my job is in Nigeria, by now um, I'm gone. I have not done any job in Nigeria over two years. If you want to bring a vessel, a lot of protocols. So all these things involve finance, involve time. You will bring a vessel in Nigeria and you are, maybe you, your calculation is three days. To discharge now they do more after the three days maybe 24 hours might be around twenty thousand dollars because we pay in dollars you know all these things bring down all the logistics operations Apart from the nearness, we pride ourselves in service delivery. Out of passion, to have Nigerian women to leave their kitchens, basically. Nabdak, weight and measure, are supposed to be doing. Uh, we've achieved this significantly. And that's a good point to call it a wrap on today's package of the EOM Business Network. Thank you very much for spending your valued time with us. We hope it was worth your while. But just in case you missed out on any aspect of it, then you can come with us to any of our other portals, as you can see on the screen. Our sincere gratitude to you, our sponsors, for your continued interest and support. Always remember, with you at us, we are champs. Oh yes, I remain Olorogo Elkanah Moari. Please, let's do this again, same time, same channel, next week. We'll see you then. <laughs>